There are some controversial advertisements popping up at several metro stations. They have a religious message and have a lot of people talking. Richard Reeve joins us from the U Street metro station in Northwest with the details. The posters installed here at U Street and three other metro stations well, I personally consider it hate speech. are certainly turning heads. There is the right to free speech. The ads, sponsored by the American Freedom Defense Initiative, a pro-Israel group, don't mince words. Quote, in any war between the civilized man and the savage, support the civilized man. Support Israel. Defeat Jihad. I can see how that's really controversial. Metro sought to delay the ads. The transit agency cited world events like the U.S. Embassy attack in Libya and the release of an anti-Islam film that went viral, sparking protests across the Middle East. Everyone won't agree with it. It's going to incense people and make them want to react in some kind of way. But Friday, a U.S. district judge ruled the posters could go up, and the ad does have supporters. I'm sure, you know, some people might think it's a bit much or maybe raise an eyebrow, but I think it's a definitely a valid message. It's designed to incite, it's designed to provoke, it's designed to uh, stigmatize uh, American Muslims. The Islamic advocacy group, CARE, says it's planning to arrange for metro ads promoting tolerance. Kind of insinuates that people that are of Middle Eastern or people that are Muslim, like, aren't civilized. And, you know, I see how that could evoke, like, emotions in anyone. Now, the ads are also at the Glenmont, Tacoma, and Georgia Avenue stations. The sponsor says these ads are in response to some anti-Israel ads. She says they will go nationwide, that they've gotten thousands of emails. These ads will be around for about a month. In northwest Washington, Richard Reeve, News Channel 8.